Philippians 1, 1 and 2. Paul and Timothy, I didn't even realize this when I first started it. Servants of Christ, the saints of Christ that are at Philippi with the, the with bishops and deacons. Grace to you and peace from God our Father, Lord Jesus Christ. And now, he wrote, writes this letter on behalf of him and Timothy. And now, it may just be Paul writing and being like, hey, Timothy says, consensus, condolences. Or they may have co wrote this letter. Timothy may have had impact on what was put into it. Timothy may be like, well, don't they need to hear this? And Paul's like, right. You know, of course, him being um, respecting Paul as kind of more of a leader over Timothy, I think would have been done. And it's often accepted, I believe, as just Paul writing and mentioning Timothy because of Timothy having connection with Philippi, which probably they both settled this city, this church had impact in it together, and they both had impact in it. Um, they're both the servants of Christ. They're writing to the fellow servants of Christ, the saints of Philippi, which could, and I did touch it on this when I prepared, um, could be different groups, different fellowships, but all collected together in faith in Christ. Um, they may have had the first church of Philippi, the first, second church of Philippi, different, uh, the home church of Philippi. They may have, and that's just various, not even mention denomination, because I choose not to in this, because I don't think denomination was a thing yet. But they may have met in different locations. Well, this guy's our pastor, we've spread, because of the growing. And, and they may have been smaller groups because of it being illegal in parts of the world, or it's easier to mandate a smaller group. Also, there may have been various groups because of various different needs, which saying it's harder to meet a whole group of needs, so you just split it up. The needs are small, the same, but it's easier to take care of five people rather than 50. But also, the bigger the group, the more capability of the means. So, I mean, my viewpoint is, this would have been handed around from church to church, from the bishops and deacons, and read aloud to the people. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ. This is where we receive grace. From the cross, from the fact that he died for us, the good news is that because of his death and grace, we can have a peace, a fellowship with God the Father in His presence in our life by the Holy Spirit.